Yo, yo, guys. Welcome to another episode of Feed the Beast with T-Dubs. So you're probably wondering, why is my experience bar going up right now? I don't know. I'm just sitting here at an enchanting table, you know. Gaining some experience. Uh, I don't know. Um, maybe I'm just lucky like that. Or maybe I use some special type of mod. Hmm. Let's see what's behind the curtains. And by the way, I have 46 and just standing here for a few minutes. So, doing pretty good. Um, what we have are these. These little guys right here. These crystals. Purple cave crystals. Um, by the Geo Strata mod. And what they do is they give XP. Now you can find these um, anywhere, uh, just about, um, in any cave system at any level, uh, you just gotta, f it's just finding them and using a silk touch pickaxe to, uh, to get them up and then to bring them back to your base and just put them somewhere. I really want to line up, uh, <coughs> this wall as well, um, and also finish two more on that side. So basically I can just sit here and just gain XP. Who needs an XP farm when you got this? This is a XP farm basically. Who needs experience bees? Who needs to Yeah, who needs a you know like a like a actual farm? You don't need it anymore. And also I've got these uh, essence berry bushes which come in handy. See? Get some more XP right there. Um but yeah, those are just some of the small things that you can do. Um, a lot of things have been going on, on the server. Been having a lot of fun. Uh, found a lot of diamonds yesterday, so, which is a lot of fun as well. Um, I have just so many resources. It's time to actually start building something. Um, also, I made this locker from Better Storage mod. It's pretty awesome. And I'm just storing different things that I have in here. Uh, looks like my chest plate's about to go out. I might go ahead and break down and get me a diamond chest plate just to stay safe. Also, you see I've got the Googles of Revealing, which gives me a Viz discount. Um, I've also got a copper capped wand, which if you look at it, you can now cast uh, shock or lightning or whatever. Got this some night tour. Uh, a lot of things have been going on, on the server. Also got this magnum torch. I think I've showed you guys that already. And it is definitely awesome. So awesome. But uh, yeah, um, just been having a lot of fun. Uh, I think one thing we could do here today is uh, finally, uh, I think we've got enough resources. Man, just do a lot of things. Uh, oh, and I do want to make another pickaxe uh, with the stone uh, using the Tinker's Construct. Uh, to go ahead and make me a uh, silk touch pickaxe. Um, and here's another thing. Um, I have an emerald and four silky cloth. Let me show you something cool. So you take your emerald, you put it in the middle. Take your silky cloth, put it around like that, and you get a silky jewel. And you see it says Tinker's Construct? Yeah, that is what you put on my friend uh, to actually get, um, let's see... See, on this is fortune, so you don't want to put it on that pickaxe, but you can put it on a different one and uh, use that as well. But now, see, I've already got a silk touch uh, uh, pickaxe as well as, um, if you look at my, let's see, I think I've got one over here somewhere, maybe. I'm trying to look. I can't. Let's see. Oh, wait. There it is. I got that yesterday. So, yeah, it's been uh, pretty nice. Um, just collecting this XP is, is nice too. I really need to enchant something. Um, and also I got these long fall boots, which I put, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog for, which is basically just another, uh, way to say haste. Uh, it's with a different mod, obviously the portal gun mod. Um, or no, that long fall boots is from the portal gun mod. Um, but yeah, we're just, you know, building XP and, and, uh, making things better and, it's just really coming along. Everything is coming along. I gotta do something with these iron furnaces. It's time to upgrade and, and go to some next level stuff. You know what I'm saying? 
Um, so what we're going to do today, I think, uh, God, you know, the thing is I'm doing this episode right off the tip of my tongue. So I've got the resources for most things that I want to get started on. Um, maybe minus some of the copper. Uh, hopefully I have enough copper for some of the things I want to do, but maybe we should start, um, working on a, uh, yeesh. let me actually see what I can do here. Uh... Let me see, we got electric steel. Now what does that do? Can I do anything with that? Let's see what we got. Electric steel, let's put a U on it for use. So we can make a Yetter wrench, a capacitor, a power probe. That's pretty much it. I don't even know what else to do with electric steel. Um, the cool thing is though, if we wanted to make just regular steel, um, the only thing that we really have to do, and I don't know if I can use uh, charcoal or not. Let me try real quick. You put it like this. Nope. Can't do it like that, but let's see here. Let's take some real coal. Put it like this. And then you get this steel dust. And what you do is you take this. And then you just put this in your furnace. And you cook it. And I think, not 100% sure, I think that you get, uh, yeah, you get a steel ingot. So, and that's a pretty easy way to do things. So I'm just going to do that. Um, and what I want to do is uh, I'm, I'm going to have to get a, um, a, what do you call it? A, uh, not a smelter. What do they call those things? The things that make the, uh, wow. Okay, let's just look up steel. And then it'll kind of give us a, better yet, let's see. Not a block of steel. Oh, yeah, steel plate. Okay, and a rolling machine. Right, so we need to make a rolling machine. And those are really easy to make. And they're pretty easy to make, uh, give power to. Um, but yeah, I think we're going to get to that level we're going to go ahead and get power started. And one of the things I want to do uh, first is, and we don't have a lot of space in here, and and that's another thing. Maybe, I don't know. I'm kind of thinking of moving. I just started, all. I just finished all this stuff, but I don't know. I just think I've kind of finished this area off to the most of my ability. I mean, I guess I could do more, but I just, I don't know. What do you guys think? Maybe I'll I'll stay in this episode. We'll get all the pieces made for a uh, steam boiler. And then after that, I kind of want to get lost. Do something else. Go somewhere else and work on a home. Um, so that's something that we're going to think about today. Um, but we're going to get the pieces to the steam boiler made, I think. Uh, let's see. Steam. Um, we got to get a steam oven going. That takes steel plates and a furnace. Uh, so we need to get, like, uh, I think it's eight of those. Could be more. I think, no, wait, is it just four? May it's just four. Okay, so you just do this one time um, with eight plates and a furnace, and you get this uh, steam oven. That, that comes really in handy. Um, but the next thing, the next thing is, is uh, we need to get, uh, let's see, um, I think it's, okay, so we got the high-pressure boiler plates. You make that, and we only need, uh, let's see, we need three, let's see, we could do two by two by two. Okay, so we only need eight of those. So it's actually going to be pretty cheap, and the thing is, it'll probably be all the power that we really need to do a lot of things. We're going to make a small, like, high-pressure steam boiler. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be uh, pretty awesome. And uh, we'll have a lot of these more, a lot more of these uh, steam dynamos. Probably like four of them to be exact, um, hanging off the side of them. But other than that, we're going to get this thing started. I really want to um, get some power going. I don't really want to go the IC2 route. It seems kind of slow to me. And since I noticed that uh, this other mod is actually uh, on here. Uh, let's see. Producer. Wait, I'm spelling producer. Producer. Uh, the uh, power converters mod is on here. So we can take... Um, MJ, and we can turn it in, or look at this, or RF producers, EU, um, 
UV producers. And what you can do is we can make power um, with this, and uh, we can make we can turn it into Buildcraft, or we can turn it into uh, uh, MJ, or not Buildcraft, uh, MJ, and we can turn it into EU. So we can power all of our other machines that we have um, that would be with the uh, IC2 mod. So that's something that I really want to get into. Right here is actually enough. Um, that's eight plates. Uh, that should make, um, or actually, let's see. If that's eight plates, let's see here. Steam. Oh. Steam boiler. High pressure boiler tank. So that's, uh, and I think I get a plate per. So that actually right there would be enough um, to get this going. Um, 16. That's it. 16 ingots. Now we do need the, um, let's see, solid fuel box. And let me see how much that... Okay, that's really easy. Um, we just need blaze powder, gunpowder, and coal to get that going. And that's just bricks, uh, furnace, and those fireball things. And then you get three of those per, So, and I think we only need four. So it's going to be really easy making these uh, pieces here. So yeah, it's going to be um, really easy getting the materials. The only thing is, after that, we need to get a farm going. And when I say farm, I mean like a tree farm, something to to basically just keep up with the uh, pace of what we're doing. Um, but what we'll do is, um, in this order, we'll go ahead and make all the parts to the steam um, engine. We'll go ahead and get that jump started. And the thing is, is um, once we get it jump started and we have enough uh, fuel and whatnot to get it going, um, then we just basically cut the power on um, with the steam uh, boiler and that'll actually end up uh, powering the um, farm that we use. So at that point, the farm will pretty much uh, be fueling the steam boiler and basically it'll be working for each other instead of us um, having to feed it. And so it'll be self-sustaining and then we can just basically live off of all the awesome EU and and resources and stuff and it's just such awesome energy I mean it's just it's, I don't know I just love something about steam boilers I just like but uh, anyways guys we're gonna go ahead and get started and get some of the pieces together um, this might run into two episodes probably will so just be ready guys this is uh, steam boiler part one alright guys see you in a little bit alright alright so the first things we're gonna need are the parts to make the solid fuel box so we're going to go ahead and do that right now. We just need to get these uh, things in it, uh, these uh, fireball launchers. And it takes, uh, looks like a blaze powder, coal, and gunpowder. All right, we're going to get that. We only needed to make them twice. Um, and then we're going to need four furnaces. And then we're going to need four pistons, which is just cobblestone, iron ingots, redstone, and wood planks. Doesn't matter which type. Okay. And then we're going to take those uh, right here. Now that's going to make the rolling machine. And all right, so the next thing we need, I'm going to put this rolling machine over here. I removed the pulverizer for right now. And this should power up. Um, actually, let's, let's look at this. Uh, what is it? Lead? Here we go. Energy conduits. That's what I knew it was. I just couldn't get it out of my head. Dad gummit. All right. So what we need is the energy conduits. Um, so let's actually. Goodness gracious. That's so funny. Okay. So okay. So we can make these boxes though really quick. Um, and how we're gonna do that? These are the solid field boxes. We only needed four. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put that in here. So we've got those fluid boxes or solid fuel boiler fire boxes. Uh, the next thing we're gonna need is yeah, we're gonna need to go ahead and get those things made. And I have glass. Um, we just need to get power. Now I thought this would be enough, um, and it. I just I don't know. I thought that that would create MJs, but apparently it's the RF. Uh, it's not uh, doing now. I wonder if I could do a let's see. Um, is it RF? 
might be going too far with this. RF producer. Consumer. Oh, it takes leadstone energy conduits anyway. So, that'll be the first thing we make. Let's just go ahead and create uh, four. I know. I, get a, I guess I should just do this. Goodness gracious. This is why I told you it was going to take two episodes. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and just throw this in here. Get cracking, baby. And uh, let's go ahead and get our glass. We're going to need that. Oh, I got some glass around here somewhere. Oh, there it was. Okay. So, let's see. Conduit. Con, because I don't know how to spell it. And we're creating the basic ones right now. So we need that. We need redstone. We can go ahead and make it in here now. So we're just going to line this up right here. And then we need to put this right here. We'll go ahead and start cooking that. All right, so let's see really quick. I don't know. Let's see if that even does anything. All right, let's look at this. Let's leave the leadstone energy cell because that actually might be the converter for this, um, and that just takes what looks like uh, a redstone block, lead, and glass. Very easy to make. So let's go ahead and get, let's see, let's make that really quick. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Take some of this glass from you. One, two, three, four. And then I think it was simply a redstone block. That's like the, it's and it's the lowest tier. Now it's just a frame, so we gotta do the actual energy cell. So you need a redstone conduit, so you need electrum which is actually made by taking silver dust and gold power. So I think we actually have that. Um, and I got gold powder right here. And then this, well, I did have some silver dust. There, there it is. Okay, so we can put this right here. And you get this electrum blend is what they call it. And then you just want to cook that. All right, and this entire time we've been actually using a, um, a pretty cool uh, using the charcoal instead of using my coal um, by just going out here and chopping these trees. And I've been using that lumber axe I was telling you guys about. And um, oh, I mean, these are ready for the pickings. Oh, there we go. Let me go ahead and sorry, I'm a little bit off task there. Put that down. Get this one's ready too. All right. But yeah, you just take this lumber axe, hit it on a tree. Oh yeah. And that's it. I mean, you just sit there and you can get so, so much um, from doing this or using this lumber axe. And it's so easy to repair. It just takes cobblestone. I mean, what are you guys doing? If you're not doing this, you're not living. You're not living the Minecraft dream. Um, look at that. Another tree already popped up in its place, pretty much. I mean, I just collect this stuff. I mean, it just happens so quickly. And I love it in the mod that um, it just, basically, the trees just, 
you know, they go and they come back. Did that thing just grow? No, that was this one. Okay. Just a couple of them are starting to catch up all of a sudden. Uh, anyways, yeah, so I got 22 spruce wood just like that. All right, here's my electrum ingots. I'm going to go ahead and put this in here and let that cook. Um, we've got this as well. All right, so how many of those electrum ingots did we need? Um, we just needed one, and we also needed, uh, let's see, we'll go ahead and take that out. We needed to get one of these going, redstone conduit. So we're going to take that now. There's this recipe right here. And I think we needed three copper ingots, I believe. Very simple. I've already got that. In fact, I'll take this one. It's an awkward type. I think it was like that. And that's it. That's really it. Um, nothing crazy. So now, what do we do? Um, I am actually going to kind of... Um, I guess I'll take this little wall down and I'll just set up like a temporary power station in thing I guess I don't know I gotta move all this stuff I, I would assume just so I can get room to do that I could do that um, right here it'd be kinda tight but I could go ahead and do that and just put that right underneath but I think we probably need to either expand that way I just I don't even think, I don't even want to re expand. I just really want to get all this stuff out. So let's just do that. Let's just do this really quick on camera. Um, and not have to expand or do any of that other crap. Um, just so we can get this done and over with. So you guys can see what you came here for. Alright. Um, we don't need that right now. I don't think we'll ever need that actually. Put up my tools. The ender pearls up. Um, the steel can go. Actually, I'll keep the steel. We don't need to do anything with that. All right. So, with that being done, let's go ahead and take this up. Okay. Put you in here for now. All right. Actually, let me go ahead and get rid of this. I'll put that all in here. So we'll put you in here. All right, I think we have everything else we need. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, I don't know if you were here to see, but yeah, I was having a little bit of an issue uh, trying to get this thing some power, but now I just figured out what it was. I just needed to right click on it, hit this little configuration. Make sure you hit it blue if it's like whatever um, place that you're getting, um, getting power and you wanna make sure it's orange whenever you're outputting. So, we're going to just stick, I don't even know if this is going to work. Does this work? No, of course not. That's too easy. Alright, so I guess we're going to take a... We're going to take this bad boy right here. And we're going to put this guy right here. And look at that. There we go. So now we can get our plates made. Yeah, boy. So we're just going to do this, um, I guess. Let's do it like this and make as many as we can. There we go. So yeah, I guess that is how we're going to have to do it. Oh, just wanted me to hit the button. But yeah, that's pretty easy. Easy, easy peasy. Okay, so we have our um, our pieces, and also uh, I I think used to be you could uh, turn this thing off. Now you no longer can, as far as I know. Um, let me actually see, but I just I'm almost 100% certain you can't turn these things off anymore, which is really sad. Um, I don't want to use that. You know what? It doesn't matter right now. All right, so let's actually finish up what we started. So we're just going to take these, put them in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, 
Um, and so how this will look, and I'll go ahead and show you really quick. Um, and we'll just put it, hell, we'll just put it right here for right now, just so you can uh, see what we're doing. We just need four blocks. In fact, I'll do it outside. It's actually more it's safer than you think out here um, because of that magnum torch. Uh, but yeah, you just put it like this. And then you want to take your eight um, high pressure boiler plates. And it goes like this, and you see how they're split up right now? Oh, as soon as you get these other uh, other ones on here, like this, you just do it like this, and they come together, just like that. And then all you have to do, and then you see it's sitting at 20 degrees Celsius, you just start throwing in um, either wood or coal or charcoal. I think you really want to go with charcoal if you can. Um, that seems to be the smoothest way to go, but sure, I mean, if if you got enough coal, I think it only takes for this one, I think it takes basically filling this thing up right here with three stacks of 64 plus maybe one stack on the side. So that's pretty much it for this episode, I think. Um, we're going to go ahead in the next episode, we'll have a space uh, made for this. In fact, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and have this boiler boiler system set up here. So I'll make something up downstairs and then we'll clear out some way over here and get some machines running. But yeah guys, that's pretty much it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm sorry it took a little bit longer than expected. Um, I didn't expect running into any issues with the power, but um, I'm actually probably going to cut out that so you guys probably didn't see that. Ha ha ha. Anyways guys, I'll talk to you next time. See you later.